Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use the Wi-Fi scan function from ESP8266. This is a basic feature that will display all the available Wi-Fi channels that's available in your surrounding, and you will be able to see the encryption type. You will be able to see the SSID, the broadcast channel, the MAC address. You will see if the access point is hidden or not. You will see the signal strength in DB milli and I have also created a function that displays it in percent. You can get the code for this and the library and driver for ESP8266, whether if it is Node MCU, WMS D1 Mini or D1 or any other ESP8266 chip, the code will work for it. You can get the code and driver by clicking on the link below the video in the description which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. In many instances, for example, you want to see if, uh, how many available channels are uh, in your area. And unless you use your phone or other devices, with this, you can check all the available access points uh, in your area close to your location. And uh, there are certain functions available, but there were no good examples. I've combined them all together. I've also done some research in terms of displaying their strengths in terms of percent and there is a Cisco method and different companies have come with a different method to display the strength but it's a relative value not absolute the value of strength is how you see it so you can set your own minimum and maximum and search within that two boundaries that you set whether for example you want to check all available access points that do not need password or uh, whether if you're uh, searching for a specific type of encryption whether if it is WEP in terms of security strength and also you can check the channels i've written three scripts one will show just the basic information the other will show you just the open access point and the third one will be the advanced that includes all of the features that is possible to get with this uh, wi-fi access function without further ado let's jump in let me now explain the arduino code this line is part of ESP8266 that is needed for the module. I have another video explaining how to prepare Arduino for ESP8266. So watch that, the link is below the video. Here we are defining the signal maximum strength. That's minus 50 dB milli. And we are also defining the minimum the lowest signal that's minus 100 mini db both of these are uh, integer of constant so they cannot be changed this constant integer display inc one uh, if you want to display the encryption you set it to one if you don't want to display the encryption set it to zero inside the setup we initialize a serial monitor with 115,200 this is a baud rate you will see it on the serial monitor i will show you and i demonstrate it this is just a text that is showing on the screen and, and we are initializing the wi-fi by this mode so we are looking at the station and then also after that we disconnect we give the two seconds for this process to complete and then and then this text will display on the screen the setup is done and inside the loop this code will run continuously. The first line will print this text on, for us on the screen using serial print ln. This ln means create new line so this will be printed and the cursor will go to the next line and this Wi-Fi dot scan networks will scan all the available Wi-Fi networks stores it here and uh, let's say 10, 20 whatever number has been discovered so this will be our number and then we say this text is printed that it is scanned and then we check if it is n is equal zero then we print no network found else if it is not zero then we print the n and then we print this text so this shows that five network found with a space whatever is a number and then we have a for loop the for loop is a loop that continuously executes until i is smaller than n n is the number of networks so we go through all the numbers if it is for example five we set i equals zero 
and then I I is incremented here one two three four it exists and then we print this because we uh, start the network start with a zero so we print zero plus one so the first network and then we open parenthesis this is just a text inside the quotation and we print the SSID so Wi-Fi dot SSID I I is the ID of the network if it is one two or three within the scanned list that we found it will print that these two line this gets the strength of the signal I and then in dv milli and I've written this function to convert it to percent and we get the same value here and pass it to this function which I will explain next below the text below this code and it will return a percent and then we print it in here and we print the percent sign at the end of it then if the encryption type for this network is open this is a constant from the code then we print then we print this to this to show us that this is open and then we print new line if this is not true and then every 10 millisecond the loop will go to the next when i is equal 1 i is equal 2 3 and so forth and this is with the else which we found and then we print this new line so this creates a new line which means for the next scan and then we wait 5000 millisecond and this line y5 scan delete it deletes all the previous scanned and the loop continuously checking the uh, available network every five seconds now db milli to percent this will get a db milli and will pass it to this function so when this value arrives here at the bottom here db milli to percent i've explained it that will be called db milli of type integer it's some kind of number minus 20 minus 30 40 50 and then we define a variable integer called quality and then we check it if db milli is lower than the minimum which means it is lower in the negative line then we set the quality to zero because we set our minimum and we said if anything is below that it should be zero and else if, if db milli is bigger than a maximum which is 100 then we will treat it as 100 percent else we do the calculation and this is a very good approximate calculation there are different methods but this was the most relevant one that i found yeah. so we get db milli plus 100 and then multiply it by 2 and that will be the quality and return will return the quality either 100 0 or a calculated value from this line now let me demonstrate it this is the Wemos D1 Mini. This is the one version that has the chip without the metal casing, and this is with the metal casing. This was, works exactly the same. The amount of RAM in both of these are the same, so I'm going to use this one. The code have been uploaded. Let me open the serial monitor. And here it says 98%. These are the three networks that you found. And now this, this time it found six. So one of them is open. This is RoboJax. I've purposely set this to open so it can display the open and the rest. They have uh, encryption. So this is the basic one. Example. And now if I lift this up from the table and hold it, you will see the number of scans will significantly increase. So far it was five. Now it's 8 because this table is metal. Now let me ex explain the code that displays only open Wi Fi doors that does not have any security or password setting. The code is exactly the same except I put here open network count. This is used internally, so we do separate count beside the available network counts. So everything is the same and here inside the loop i've created this one f 
Wi-Fi uh, encryption of that network is equal equal this constant which means if it is none encryption type is none then we increment the open network which initially set at zero it becomes one and we print it and then we print that, that network now let me demonstrate it so it shows uh, the network that doesn't need password as you can see it shows five found but only one is open and it goes finished so three and then one is open 92% strength this way you can check all the network that don't need password Now let me show you the advanced code that shows tons of information about the network. It's in continuation of the basic code that I just shown you. After showing the SSID of the network, we show also the channel. Wi-Fi that channel will show you the channel because sometimes you want to know which channel uh, you, the network is on and then this was the same as before this is the percent this is printing the mac address of uh, the device so that also might be useful in some application also we check if the network is hidden also we print it sometimes people have the network but it is not broadcasting this will print it and here so if you want to display the encryption this line here it shows display ink so if you need to display the encryption this will show the encryption this will pass the i the number of the network that we have scanned and will print it which i'm going to explain it next and we wait to uh, 10 millisecond the f for loop finishes and the f finishes and the for loop finishes and then we wait 5000 millisecond for the scan delete the scan and the loop continues now to explain this now let's check here that i which will come here and we call it id and here's a string and then type we call it type and we check the id wi-fi encryption type id so this will return the type and this is a constant defined in the code and we check it if this was equal this constant which is a number here one two three four seven and eight then we return wep if it is uh, wpa and spk psk we return this and the other types and if it is auto it means this is one of the three type and if it is none we print open we return open when that returns here the serial monitor will print it for us let me upload the code now here is a demonstration of the advanced code that i've written i'm opening the serial monitor code is uploaded to this module so let me and here i've reduced the size so you can see it but still there is some scroll on the right let me stop the scroll so i can explain it here it shows the ssid name and this shows the channel the strength in terms of db milli and in terms of percent and this is the mac address for this and encryption type at the end if it is open like my channel robojax which is coming on running on channel 11 you see it's 100 percent because it's very close and the MAC address shows here an encryption open and the scan continues if I hold this you will see that we get a lot of more channels this is five now now let's wait and see eight and my hand is closer to this if I hold it a little up it will be even more seven increase one more 
I would like to sincerely thank the following people who have supported me via Patreon. Thank you for watching. This was how to use the Wi-Fi scan feature of ESP8266. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help the search algorithm of YouTube for my video. And if you have comment or question, post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, you may subscribe now.